Sheffield United nil, West Ham United won. Uh, another great day at the office. Another very professional, solid display by us at a ground and team that often in the past we have struggled to to get three points from really. So we sit eighth in the league, seventh in the form. Um, it's looking good and it's the best start to, to the Premiership um, since the Billich season. So it's looking really good. We're improving week on week. Um, so it, long that may carry on. Um, Hard to find a man of the match because I think everyone played really well. So that's a good team performance. I think obviously Ogbonna marshaled the back, back line really well. Rice again was 10, 10 out of 10. Masawaku, if anything, is up there as one of the player of the year candidates. And who could have thought that last year? So he's performing really well. Um, Haller did really well, got the winning goal. Um, just a couple of points we can improve on. I think um, I think Bowen and Fornells, they need to find Haller. A bit earlier, he does. I, I found today after having a go at him at the Fulham Liverpool games and things like that. I think he he did find the space, but the ball wasn't released early enough to him. I don't know if it's just not getting used to playing with him. Is it trust? So I think Bowen and Fornell's got to improve on that side of things to kind of find him a bit earlier, slip it in so he has a chance. Um, again, the goal he scored wasn't a pass. They weren't passing to him. It was a deflection that. By chance came to him, and what a great, what a great finish! Really, the goalkeeper I think got his hand to it, um, but they all count. He could have got a second one. He wasn't quite clinical enough. Again, that'll come as he begins to to start more and more games. I think. Um, so long may that carry on. I think we look solid all round. Baldwin a little bit up and down. I think he did play for Paraguay in the international, so that that can have an effect. But apart from that, I don't think we really looked in trouble a lot. I think when. When Fabianski was asked to come in, he performed a couple of good saves. Um, and we looked comfortable. We looked comfortable. I was saying to my son, like with 10 minutes to go, that I can only see Sheffield United coming back into the game through penalty, really, apart from that. I don't think they really got that option up front to, to perhaps um, sort of put us under pressure and score, really. So the next three games, I think we got um, we've got Villa at home. Manchester United at home leads away. So a lot of people are saying that the... Um, the hard running has gone and now we've got easy games to look forward to. There's no easy games in this league, really. So Villa, are, um, not an easy team to play. Might be a good time to play. I think they've lost their last, certainly three games at home, I think, out of the recent form. And Barclay looked like he's going to be injured. He's quite key key for them. So hopefully maybe Antonio might be back by then. Um, yeah, Milanka a little bit after that. So we've got a really sort of nearly fully fit squad, I think. Um, so I think it's... Been brilliant under David Moyes, as you know. I sing his praises all the time. I'm I'm so happy for him that, and I, I still think he's overachieving with the squad he's got. Um, so hopefully he gets a little bit more help in January, bring those one or two more key players in. Surprise with Lanzini coming on instead of Ben Rama, but that's fine. It's a squad game. Lanzini, to be fair, did look quite bright, uh, running around trying to create space, put people through. And and I think what David Moyes does is that I'm sure he's not happy with Ben Rama giving the penalty away last week, despite setting up the goal. Perhaps just a reminder to him, just carry on working hard um, and try to improve on your defensive work, which he's so, which David Moyes is so strict about, really. And I think that's good. Uh, no one should warrant a start from the bench or from the beginning. You know, you've got to work hard. And if you make a mistake, perhaps it's not a bad thing to just keep them on the bench. You know, keep that kind of thing there, a bit, bit of awareness that, yeah, next time I'm on there, I need to be 100% focused and, and not be so careless, really. So I think... It's looking really good. It's looking really good. Players are playing well, look fit, organised as ever. It's just David Moyes' team. We're so used to it now. and He's made the changes so quickly, really. So, yep, yeah, let's carry on. Um, nothing to complain about. Lovely Sunday. Enjoy, everyone. Take care. Come on, you irons. For West Ham fans everywhere, this is the ultimate football app for you. Never miss a thing with the latest West Ham news, gossip and social stories as they break. Download the free COY Irons app now from the App Store and Google Play.